Good evening and welcome back to Brochures Adventures and tonight I'm here in Sode Pampa which is the starting point for the uh, five day, five night Socante trek to Machu Picchu. Um, tonight we actually have these little uh, rooms with the glass windows here. Uh, we won't always have this, we'll be in tents for most of the, uh, the trip and it's actually pretty cold so I've got about three layers on right now. I think we're just going to have a quick meal and then we're going to head to bed and wake up really really early to uh, start trekking because tomorrow we go for like three or four hours almost straight uphill. It'll be good, but it'll be tough. Also, we spent the last three hours driving out from uh, Cusco up into the hills, and we gained about um, 2,000 feet in elevation, which uh, isn't quite enough to make you feel that much different, but um, I'm sure tomorrow we will feel a lot different because we're going up another three or 4,000 feet. Good morning, it's about 6.25 in the morning and we just had a breakfast of fruit, oatmeal, and uh, some juices and stuff like that. And as you can see behind me, it is quite uh, cloudy today. Um, hopefully this lifts. For the first part of the morning, we're heading up to a place called Humantai Lake, which is about an hour and a half from here. And then we're gonna head another three hours to our, uh, I think our lunch destination for today. But we have about 18 kilometers and about 12 hours of walking to do. So we think we're the ones with the hard job of just trekking up the mountain today. These guys over here have to pack all of our gear and put it on those horses and take it in front of us so that our food is ready when we get there. How's your morning, Javier? So after two hours of mild walking, we made it up here to Humantai Lake. Um, and a few of us are feeling a little bit of altitude sickness, but otherwise it's pretty mild. We still have a few more thousand feet to go up today, so uh, hopefully the Diamox and some of the other herbal supplements will keep that at bay. This is an absolutely beautiful and placid lake, as you can see behind me. I'm not sure if you can see them all behind me, but there's a bunch of stacked stones here, and I believe that those are offerings to the mountain god of Silcante. So if you don't think there's a reason to get up really early to get to uh, the lake here, this is the reason. Because if you get up there early, you don't have all these people. After about another three hours of trekking, we finally made it to our lunch spot here in the hills. It is an absolutely gorgeous valley around us with uh, snow-capped mountains. We came into this camp in warm weather gear and are leaving in cold weather gear because the weather changed just a little bit while we were here. <laughs> I'm going to rub a bank. <laughs> So even though we're about a half a day into our trek right now, there was one girl who had two delayed flights from New York to uh, Lima and then a delayed flight from Cusco, or to Cusco, and she just made it up here um, about halfway on her first day. So she just came from New York all the way to Cusco, so she might be settling for uh, some heavy altitude sickness tonight. As you can see, the weather has changed quite a bit. We're in a little bit of a, a snowy mess right now. It's still snowing just a little bit. This was actually supposed to be our lunch area before we had to stop down there in the valley. From here we have another kilometer before we get to the highest point, which is 4,480 meters above sea level. So 
as you can see by the sign next to me, we have made it to the Socante Pass. This is the highest we're going to be going on uh, this trek, and uh, hopefully the snow goes away as we go down because this has been a little brutal. All right, so even more clothes for everyone. It's ridiculously cold up here. So we finally made it off the mountain out of the uh, snow and wind, and now we're just kind of standing over a little valley here. Come on, Stas. Wow. Ooh, it's a flaming pig. Oh. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. Look at the chef, man. This is the surprise for the chef for you, my friend. Wow. Wow. Flaming bananas. I don't want to burn myself. Here you go. Class for our friend, please. Thank you very much. Good morning and welcome to night number two camp and I couldn't really show you much last night because uh, well it was dark when we got in because we were a little slow to get to camp but it's these little Indian huts with tents in them uh, we have our chef's cooking tent back there um, and we've got these beautiful mountains here because we are in the valley so actually over here is uh, at the Salcante mountain good Since we'll be going through a few microclimates in the next few hours, we've had to stop, layer down, and put on some sunscreen and bug spray of all things. It's a, it's a little bit different from yesterday climbing the mountain in the snowy weather. It's a butterfly eating poop. Where are you going? It's going to take the trail around us. Look at you. It's a life. Dreams are coming true. So last night we slept at this nice little campsite next to the Santa Teresa River here. Um, and actually it was a good night. We had some really good food made by our uh, super chef. And uh, the breakfast this morning was good as well. And even uh, a surprise cake for Kate because it's her birthday today. Hot showers last night were definitely a plus. And this morning we are hiking about four hours to Yak de Pato, which is uh, a few hundred meters above Machu Picchu. So we should be able to see it across the valley. I really want to take one of those for a ride across the river. So Javier, being the best uh, guide ever, is going to make our dreams come true and let us actually ride on this little thing across the river for a little bit. <laughs> So this is awesome. Uh, yeah, I think this is the Santa Teresa River and it's incredible to the time. Just look at the scenery around me. It's crazy. And there's Javier all the way over there, pulling me back. <laughs> Am I too heavy? <laughs> Thank you, Javi. Uh, oh. 
So just a few minutes ago we stepped onto what was uh, originally one of the uh, Inca trails and uh, you can still see some of the stones and stuff on the side but there's not much left because they actually kind of strip mined the old roads here to build houses. But it's still pretty unique. Uh, we're walking uphill again which uh, we have to stop every few minutes to take a few breaths but man it's been a beautiful trip so far. Into the jungle. So another convenient thing about our little lunch stop here in the hills is they have a TV and it's the first time in 36 years that Peru has been in the World Cup and today they play Denmark and it's starting right now. Oh. Since one of the uh, chief products here in Peru is coca leaves, they actually use them to uh, Use it as a stimulant, kind of like coffee, but you actually put it in your mouth between your uh, cheek and your teeth, and you chew on it for about five to ten minutes, and you. Uh... Demonstration? Yeah, she's doing it right now, actually. Ah. Uh, yeah, I chew, like chewing tobacco. Yeah, a little bit. But over on the side. Mm-hmm. So I'll be ready to hike in a few more minutes. <laughs> oh. So a small group of the uh, slower trekkers left about a half an hour ago while we stayed behind to watch uh, the Peru game. Uh, unfortunately, Peru did not win and we are going to head out now for another three hours, three and a half hours to uh, Lacta Pampa or Yacta Pampa. And then we should actually have a good view of Machu Picchu because we're going to be a few hundred meters above Machu Picchu looking over the Urubamba River. According to our guide, Yaktapata is right up there where our campsite will be overlooking Machu Picchu later today. We probably still have two and a half hours. Uh, it's just a slow uphill, but uh, it's not too hard. I don't know if this is the top of the climb or not, but we are at some little <laughs> station here. The view is totally worth the climb, but it was a hard climb. Those are the porters that have the tougher job than we do. They don't get sticks and they have to carry up uh, bigger bags, our bags. <laughs> That's awesome. Swing is one sole. This is definitely the best view of the valley so far. <laughs> Took a lot of work to get up here. I'm going to stay here for a while. On our way to our campsite, we encountered a little bit of uh, some Incan ruins behind us. And in front of us, kind of over here, Machu Picchu, you can actually see it. And we'll be camping kind of in front of it tonight where you'll be able to see it more. I'll be able to take some more photos and videos when I get to camp. Well, it's about five o'clock and we finally made it to our uh, final camp for the night. Um, it's a pretty cool camp. It's got one of the best views I've ever seen. We can actually see Machu Picchu from across the valley. And uh, we're gonna head down to the edge of our little cliff here to take some pictures. And yes, I'm wearing sandals. So that right over there is Machu Picchu and Huayna Picchu Mountain. Machu Picchu Mountain is here, Huayna Picchu is here, and then Machu Picchu itself is in that little U-shaped thing right there. Good morning and welcome to the fourth and final day of actual trekking. Today we're going from our campsite here in this beautiful uh, mountaintop area down to Hydroelectrica. Um, it's going to be about two hours downhill and my knee is kind of on fire on my right side so that should be a, a journey in itself. But we have an awesome view of uh, sunrise this morning here and Machu Picchu is just over there so the sun kind of rose right behind Machu Picchu. Um, stayed up a little late last night to get some star pictures. The clouds rolled in but we still got some awesome uh, time lapse and star pictures as well. But uh, we're going to head out now. We had an awesome breakfast thanks to Javier and all of the porters here. How come Walter is the biggest bag?
finally uh, crossed the bridge to flat land. Uh, it's going to be flat from here on out, but we get to do this little uh, trout farm tour before we head into Hydroelectrica for the game today. Whoa! So we just had a pre-packed lunch in this little restaurant uh, next to the tracks here on the way from Hydroelectrica to Aguas Calientes and now we're packing our bags with the stuff we'll need for the next few hours because the porters are going to catch the train later and uh, bring the rest of our stuff to our hotel tonight. We basically walk for another three hours down the railroad tracks to Aguas Calientes. So after four days of hiking up and down the mountains around uh, Salcante and Machu Picchu, we finally made it to the little uh, trekking town known as Aguas Calientes, which tomorrow morning we will use to take the bus up to Machu Picchu. Thank you for watching Brochures Adventures. If you like this content and would like to see more, please consider clicking and subscribing below. Also, if you'd like to see more videos from around the world, click the links over here. Happy New Year, and I hope your 2019 is full of travel and adventure. Face your fears and say yes to adventure.